Welcome to another episode of Quick Tech Tips and Reviews. My name is Tony, and with this channel, I try to bring you guys a variety of different tech-related content. So, if this is your first time with us, please consider subscribing to the channel and make sure you hit that little bell so that you're alerted to when I release new content. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the initial setup of Unify Protect. Okay guys, so in a couple of recent videos, I showed you how to set up the Cloud Key Gen 2 Plus with some basic settings, and then did another video showing how to migrate a Unify controller from an original Cloud Key over to the Cloud Key Gen 2 Plus. If you'd like to see either one of those videos, I'll put links to both of them up above and down in the video description below. Today, we're gonna to focus on setting up and walking through the wizard for Unify Protect Surveillance. So let's get started by clicking the setup button. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is name the NVR. It's the first step out of five. So we'll call this lab NVR. Next, we'll select the time zone. For me, Eastern works fine, but if you need to change the time zone, just click the drop down menu, scroll through, and select your time zone. And then we're going to check off. I agree to the end user license and come all the way over to the lower right hand corner of the screen and click the next button. Next, step two, it's saying add local credentials that would be used for locally accessing the controller. So we'll keep it simple for the video. Username will be Tony and the password will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we have to enter the password twice. And then again, come all the way over to the lower right hand corner of the screen to click next. And now step three is asking if you want to adopt any cameras with your UI.com account, giving you easy remote access to your cameras without having to do any port forwarding or configuration of your router. For now, for the purpose of this video, I am going to opt out of this option and come over to the lower right hand corner and click skip. Step four, it says add devices. So if you do have any cameras plugged into your network, the controller will automatically find them. And it does see that I have a G3, a UVC G3 bullet, and I'm just gonna call it for the purpose of this video, lab G3. And we're just going to come over to the lower right hand corner and say finish. And now it's preparing Unify Protect. Setup is complete. Easily control your security system and set up wireless cameras. Let's exit the setup. And now it brings us into the user interface. So guys, that's it for today's video. I just wanted to get you through the setup process with the latest firmware, I believe it's version 1.12.5 for Unify Protect at the time and recording of this video. In the next video, we'll take a look at the actual user interface of Unify Protect. So there you have it, guys. If you liked this video, found it helpful, and would like to see more videos like this, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out some of my other videos up above. You can help out the channel by remembering to subscribe, give the video a like if you haven't already, and share the video. And remember to use those Amazon affiliate links down in the video description below. I know they don't change your price, but they do help out the channel. My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. As always, I thank you for watching. See you next time.